The design of the Indian-made soba shoulder or rabbit plane is based on the pattern of a British shoulder plane made originally by Preston, later by Record, and is currently reproduced by Clifton. The most common use of the plane is as a regular shoulder plane. However, if the long nose is removed, a bolt keeps it in place, the plane becomes a chisel plane, and if installed with a short nose, the plane is transformed into a bullnose plane. This plane is sold under several brand names. It can be purchased through woodworking's catalogs, including Shopfox, Garrett Wade, and Traditional Woodworker. I bought mine at Garrett Wade in June 2012. Watch this review to learn more about the plane and how to fine tune it. This will enable you to turn your plane into a versatile shaving tool. I began by placing a blade straight edge to check the plane sole for flatness. The sole was extremely flat, so no additional flattening was required. Then I checked the plane for squareness between the sole and the side of the plane. I used a machini square, and here too the result showed that the plane sides are extremely square to the sole. The plane's shim and bullnose attachment came with minor burrs from the machining process. I removed them by lapping the parts on fine DMT diamond stones. I used a small square to check the lever cap nose for squareness. It was not perfectly square, off by a few degrees. To correct this, I drew a square line with a sharpie pen and filed the extra metal with a regular file, followed by a diamond file. I flattened the lever cap sole on a diamond stone. If I had the ear of the plane's makers, I would suggest to them modifying the lever cap's spin wheel, increasing its diameter, and rounding over its base, instead of the pointed cone base that it has now. The blade's projection retrieving nut is nested into a rectangular opening in the tail of the blade. I had to file away the sharp burrs on the rims of the opening to enable for a smoother operation. I recommend using oil or light grease to lubricant the plane's threaded rod and the blade's opening. The blade adjustment will be much easier and smoother this way. I had to spend quite a bit of time lapping the blades back. It would be better if the blade makers would make an extra effort to flatten it before it leaves the factory. For additional information on sharpening and honing of woodworking tools, I recommend watching Linnelson's channel on YouTube.
Conclusions The critical features of these planes are very good. Flat sole, an accurate machining of the blade's ram, very good fit of the other components. Although you will have to spend an hour or two in order to bring the plane to perfection, I think it's worth your time. The Indian plane costs between $70 to $80. In comparison, the British Clifton costs around $260. I leave it up to you to decide which one fits your needs and budget.